This was a short-term study that did not analyze potential long-term effects, but it is prompting a government safety investigation. Most Floridians have it on hand. I definitely get sunglasses, um, headphones, and then of course I always put sunscreen on my face. Life in the Sunshine State means sunscreen year-round. Maybe at least a bottle every two months. But what's been considered vital for skin protection? is now under the microscope of FDA scientists. This is the first time they looked at it much more rigorously. The new study found that four common chemicals found in sunscreens can be absorbed into a person's bloodstream in high concentrations if applied several times throughout the day. All four of the products they studied did indeed have more than what is considered the threshold where we can just simply say this is safe to use. 24 volunteers participated in the study and were asked to apply their assigned sunscreen on 75% of their body four times each day for four days. Dr. Fenske, who leads USF's Department of Dermatology, says that's a lot of sunscreen compared to what most people use on a daily basis, and therefore the study's results should be taken with a grain of salt. Nobody uses sunscreens in the real world the way the study was designed. Doctors agree more long-term studies are needed. This does raise our eyebrows a bit. But for now, sunscreen is still safe to use. What you don't want to do is to skip the sunscreen or skip protecting yourself from the sun because we know, I mean, Florida has one of, if not, the highest rate of skin cancer in the country. Now, if you are worried about chemical sunscreens getting into your bloodstream, doctors recommend you use a physical sunscreen instead, such as zinc oxide or titanium oxide.